Hello friends, this is Uts, according to CNN, and today we're doing the second episode of 50 wins in a row with each killer. It's something that I've set out to do that is proving very difficult at the time. We're doing all of this on stream. If you guys don't know the rules, I classify a win as either four kills or three kills after the hatch has to spawn and they need to do that. Uh, it's been very difficult. We've been trying a lot of killers, more or less success. We're getting close with a third one now, but we're going to go back to the original killer that I got this with, which is Legion. We had a 52 win streak on Legion, the 50... Third game, I actually uh, lost. Um, it was a really tough match against really good survivors. Made a couple mistakes and they punished me dearly. But how did I make it to 50 wins uh, in the first place? Many people uh, didn't really give me much credit when I said the Legion wasn't complete garbage. And I think I convinced some of them when we did this. Legion has some insane strengths that I made sure to capitalize on to make it that far. He's actually a rather consistent killer. Uh, provided that you know what you're doing. Your first idea is to use his Feral Frenzy to get people injured. Getting people injured is very, very important. You will never have to chase a single person that is healthy with this character if you play your cards right. And what that means is that if everybody's injured, no one can go for the save. No one can do ballsy plays. If they make one mistake, you punish it, they're down. It's not like most other killers, where if they make one mistake, you need to punish them, and now they get to make another. Uh-uh. One mistake and they're done. You can make one good mind game, perfect. They're on the ground. And this keeps and keeps happening. Uh, the fact that you can use your power to find multiple survivors helps you greatly in finding the survivor that's dead on hook, or the survivor that is weakest in the group, or the survivor that's in the weakest position in a part of the map with not a lot of pallets left, for example. So you, be to, you need to be very smart about juggling, knowing who to injure and who to leave. It's, uh, you need to remember that if a survivor needs to mend, that's 12 seconds that they need to waste. So ideally, you hit one survivor, you, lay, you leave them mending, you hit another survivor, and then you go back to the first one, so that the first one has wasted 10 seconds mending, and the second one, uh, the second one now has to waste those 12 seconds as well. You don't want to chase people who are mending as much as you can. Once you learn how to juggle these and how to corner survivors, you'll notice that I don't run corrupt on Legion. I want them to spawn by the edges of the map. So when I find one, all of them are hiding by a corner and they can't suddenly spread in the middle of the map. Uh, rather, they're against the edges and I can slowly, with my 10 seconds of power, because remember, no add-ons, uh, uh, get, get each of them. And in the instance that I do not get to hit them with my frenzy, most of the times I'll just cancel the frenzy. I hit one survivor, I hit two survivors, if the other two I want to hit are too far away, I will just cancel it. Four seconds uh, cooldown for sure, but I get my power back fully and I can do it. Get everybody injured and then things start to magically happen. And the build we had for this purpose was amazing. We have Pop, Ghost of Weasel, Search uh, from the Demogorgon, and thrilling tremors. This is the main build. It's the build I recommend uh, on my good build for every killer video, and it it just works like an absolute charm. You find that first survivor, you find everybody else through your ability, then you go for the person that you think has the highest likelihood of going down very quickly, and then this build gets started. When you down that person, one of two things will happen. Search will or will not go off. If search doesn't go off, wonderful. That means that the generators around you are not being worked. You can pick them up, and Thrilling Tremors will let you know which generators far away are being worked, so you can go there with Pop Goes the Weasel. If Search does go off, that means a generator nearby is being worked on. When you pick up, you'll see if that survivor that's there is still on the generator by the time you picked up, or if they're already gone. You will be able to make your mind on it. If they if they let go, then Thrilling Tremors will block the gen after Search is proc, which means that it will be protected for 16 seconds. It won't be able to magically tap it uh, to, to keep it from regressing, it will be protected. It will not regress while it's blocked by Thrill and Tremors, but it doesn't matter, it's still a really good trade. Thrill and Tremors will constantly point out where people are. People have to mend, people sometimes will even heal, and this build gives you so much time. Search is a brilliant perk. Once everybody starts being injured, Search is very, very scary. A survivor that is injured cannot just take a hit and run off to the other side of the map. They take a hit and they're down, which means that they have to play very, very smart about the final three or four gens. If they have gotten rid of too many pallets there, or if they if the saves are in an unsafe spot, or if you know how to mind in them, or they make risk, risky plays and don't get away with it, 
each town will hit one or two generators, each pickup will block those generators with Rune Tremors, and on top of that, you'll have Pop. And on top of all the slowdown, the stalling, and the info, Pop is just really, really powerful. But considering that we're not, we're not slugging at all, I don't think Legion is a great slugger, um, what is the fourth perk we would bring with this? In my recommended build uh, uh, video, I recommended Enduring. Enduring is a really fine choice, uh, especially for survivors that are a little bit panicky on pallets, that misplay around it, they can give you super fast down. Uh, there's a video or two showcasing how good Enduring is. It's a very safe choice. No, I'm not a big fan of Enduring, but I still really like Unleashing. That being said, the perk that carried us in this win streak the most, by far, that made us win even in maps where Legion has no business winning, even in matches with multiple keys, three hard of bills in a row and whatnot, was the Bower Hope. The Bower Hope is insanely good on Legion. You wouldn't believe it because, you know, Legion's out of the insta down in people if they're injured, but the Bower Hope makes people have to stop what they're doing. Now, mind the mending, mind the healing, but also have to find the totem. It's too much and it is really, really powerful. Let me show you what the perk actually does, because Legion, more so than other killers, actually gets uh, a really nice effect from it. You'll notice that at two tokens, you get 5% extra movement speed, so you go from 115, which is standard, to 120. It's, it's almost like you had a play with your food stack for 10 seconds, 10 seconds after you hook someone. So after your second hook, which will happen relatively early in the match, you will be moving at 120. This is huge. In huge maps, this lets you get across the board uh, more easily. In smaller maps, this means that in 10 seconds you can hook a guy, be on the next chase, and someone that's probably injured, and move 5% faster. That is so good. Those 10, that 10% after the 10 second, uh, th sorry, those 10 seconds of 5% after the 10 seconds, it's a mouthful, are actually very useful on this killer and will get you down quicker than you would otherwise. When you get exposed, this really disrupts the team and teams that usually have uh, the idea of like staying apart, splitting up against Legion, um, don't heal and whatnot, they suddenly now have to worry about you mooring them. And that, and that threat is almost more powerful than the execution itself. In the meantime, while all of this is happening, you do not care about the Vower Hope at all. Instead, you just focus on your Thrill, your Surge, and your Pov, and you keep gems under control. More so than with almost any other killer I've played, you are constantly monitoring the gems and making sure that hooks are happening, but the gems are at a standstill completely. And meanwhile, you're also eyeing who's dead on hook and using your ability to, to find them. Uh, worst case scenario, Devour Hope gets spotted early, cleansed very, very soon, but even that makes sure that someone's not rushing gems and that your first pop can probably stop a gen, uh, and that you have some information about where that person is. So even at the very worst, this perk did something. And the other th three perks are so good together that this is a really, really solid build. I didn't use any add-ons again, but if you were to use some, and if you want to try this yourself, I recommend you run uh, duration add-ons. I think they are universally the most uh, useful out of all. That's pretty much it uh, for the build. Unfortunately, because the VODs were starting to be very old, most of the games in that streak are either out of the feature in this channel as the odd video here and there, or I lost them, which makes me really upset. So I went out of my way to record two new games where this build got to shine a little bit. So please uh, watch it, enjoy it if you will, and let me know what you think about this build if you've tried it. Thanks so much. Let's go and watch them. Ooh, all right. Blood Lodge. Good things about this map. People usually spawn by edges and it's easy to corral them and get a couple hits if they don't spread out immediately. Bad things about this map, literally everything else, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's hope we catch them. That is a really bad of our hope as well, so we might have to do this with no help. Nobody seemed to spawn on that. We won't push them there if we don't need to. Somebody did touch the shen? Yeah, we can see it. Is that one or two? Alright, I think Bale is closer to the center. He'll drop this. Big mistake, I think it would have been better not to. And the question is, how far did Dwight go? And the answer is extremely far. Time to cancel. He is quite cornered though, surely he couldn't make it too... Oh, he could... Yeah, he couldn't make it too far from there, right? Yep, he was on the totem. That's okay, we'll let him have it. Eventually, he'll do it, but... Uh, honestly, my advice, don't drop pallets against Legion. 
until you're injured. If we do keep the pressure up, who knows? We might be able to somehow save that that uh, that totem. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in mind giving this. Get that hard there. All right, we hit that gen. Let's see if it gets blocked with Thrill and Tremors or if Bill is still on it. It did get blocked. That's great. Uh, basement's here, which is nice. Uh, usually, you don't want to put people in basement if you're not going to defend them. But I might actually linger around the area, especially if all the gens are blocked. All the gens are blocked. Um, Bill, I think, uses medkit perhaps to heal, and he must be by this gen still. He did have a medkit, didn't he? Alright, let's break the pallets that were dropped. There's a nasty window in the middle of that bus. Let's see if we can get used out of pop. This is gonna be hard, dude. This is a really difficult map. Uh, search is really hard to use when the gens are spread out like this. Very, very hard to use. So you won't see as much value out of it. Um, we're going back, me thanks. Oops, I got stuck on the crane. Yeah, we're going back. This is a bad area, but that one's almost worse. We've never been there. Alright. Um, Dwight. Alright, just making sure he stays busy. I actually would rather switch. I think she's on top of the hill. Yup. Does she have balanced? She did not. We're out of the used up. Yeah, that's good. Keep, keep Dwight busy with mending. Uh, make him forget about the totem he saw. And we might just get some value out of it. The moment he gets exposed, though, Dwight's heading right there, so we'll know where to find him. That's if he's not heading there already. All right. Uh, they've done just one by one so far. Not too bad. We have a three gen of swords around the main building. And this one here is a bit of a stretch, though. I don't know if we'll be able to defend it so well. Um, I would say it's not worth a pop right now. All right. I say hit her, let Bill get the rescue. Oh, do I make it? Nope. Good job. Her actually running straight line was a good idea. I don't even know if I'm chasing her anymore. Nope, she broke out. That's good. We got the stack from the Vower Hope at the very least. Okay, this is perfect. Not tunneling anybody. I don't mind if I get... Yeah, I would have liked to use Pop in there, but nah, it has any, has barely any progress. This Claudette, however, has been paying attention. I'm keeping an eye out. We need to pick up Bill, however, he has Unbreakable. It's a Bill. He must, right? Okay, if Claudette is also here, then Jesus. Fair enough. He has that heart, and I think he tried to use it there. This could be super huge for us, because... Yeah, this would be our third stack of our hope, which they don't know about. They're not on any gens, and this could be our fourth if we're lucky. Let's take him far away from Bill so that uh, we'll get the stack, but also far away from the totem that he knows about. Good, good, good. That was a window vault, I think. Third stack, and this would be fourth stack. We don't need to get five to win at all. It's just about disrupting them a little bit. I'll go for Claudette if I can. But take anybody, really. Mm. Okay. This is perfect. If we get the S, no big deal. If we don't get the S because we grab, there's no reveal of the Vow of Hope. So I can actually hook him and get my fifth stack right here. That's too convenient, man. He should have not vaulted back. He's on his second? Perfect. The only problem, though, is that Thread and Thomas was on cooldown, so we don't know which gender one. But hey, look at that. They even told us right there. And this is also brilliant. Because this man's dead on hook. <laughs> Wonderful. We can just kill him right now. They let go of that gen, so... I think they'll all get blocked. Is there any gen they're working on? Yeah, this this is fine. They can get this totem. The only one that saw it was Dwight. He's now dead. But... Even if they do get it, I think it's too late. One of the weaknesses of Legion is that you actually need people injured to defend hooks. You cannot defend hooks really well with your power because of the 4 second cooldown, but this is too crippling. Oh, they made it here alright. I think they kept walking though. Um, 
yeah, we could stay on top of the basement for two more seconds. And then they can get that rescue. Uh, but it's okay, we can we can afford to lose. Let's go there and pop this and go for that person. Um, I think that's a hit. Yo, lucky. Look, we don't even need to waste time with with pop. That's really convenient, by the way. That claw that could seem quite good. We never we never even bothered to hook. So if we catch her now, she'll be dead on first hook regardless. That was a good idea to leave one person that you don't bother hooking. With this bill, however, downing anybody is always good. Because you always get thrill, you always get pop, you always get surge. You get something out of them. In some other builds, you know, hooking someone that you haven't hooked before is actually a waste of time. But this one, it can work out with the Bower Hope as well. But still, you know, the Bower Hope can be lost. Surge and pop can sometimes not be enough. Thrill and tremors can be on cooldown. Sometimes it's best to just focus on the same one, two survivors. Ignore one or, or the other two. And make sure someone dies. Somewhat early. If you got one or two people killed, by the time there's two gents left, it's usually in the back. Now it's just a matter of who finds the hatch first. I have a feeling she started looking here. I'm gonna use my power. See if I can. Oh, nope. Use your power if you see the survivor ahead of you and you want to run ahead. I don't think we could do it this time though. They got luckier than us. So, uh, what do we have? We had a couple console players. Wow. Nice in the hole, up the ante, open-handed self-care. This is a full hand build. Damn, this guy wasn't even wasn't even trying too much. And he still got it. Uh, good stuff, we didn't, we didn't uh, slug at all. We had a couple unbreakables. That was a good attempt by Dwight to get that pallet safe. Lucky we found him. I was expecting Claudette. Uh, yeah, the power hole ended up working after all. Wow. Wow. Um, lessons to take from this game. Remember that people who are cornered cannot hold W forever, and you'll get them injured with your power, and then if you're lucky and they don't have a lot of stuff, you'll get them down, like Dwight's case. Let's see how we do in the next one. Okay, I was tempted to send myself to the farm to, you know, see a different map, maybe a bit of challenge, but then I noticed that these guys have a key, two toolboxes, and one medkit, so I was like, maybe that's enough of a challenge. This is actually an amazing map for Legion. Uh, Gen sometimes, like these three, are really close together and Surge is a life scent. Uh, it's, it's, it's just it's just a godsend. Really good stuff. We need to find the first survivor though and then find everybody else from them. I'm having a hard time figuring out where they could have walked. I think we'll walk into someone eventually. I might hit the volume up a bit. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's check this middle one. Nothing here yet. No one on the Shen, no sound. Oh, no one on the Shen, but with this just... That was pretty good. That was pretty, pretty good. No sprinters on this girl. She seems to be in a bit of an awkward position. I'm gonna swing a miss. I do that to just get a sprinters, basically, from the hit. Don't hit her, though, because otherwise you slow down and she gets speed... She gets sped up, so, yeah. If you want to end your swing, you can just cancel them too, or you can do that. If you cancel them too, you don't, you don't lose your power. But I already hit uh, her, so my power was at 50 anyway, so that's good. Anyway, one person down, one person here. This is a really good pop. No idea where they went, though. Uh, oh! Sorry, I thought it was another Felix crouching. Oops. Oops, I, I killed that poor wheelchair. Oh, this is wonderful. Is it really? Come on, dude. I'm sure I could have lined that up. I'd like to use my power on this guy now. It's five seconds until I get it. I think it's worth it. I'll find the Felix. Felix is injured, but he's not in deep one, which means I can actually pick him up with my ability. Yeah, we'll get ahead of him. I think he's got God Pilot over here. Yeah, I think he's got the amazing Pilot on that side. Unlucky, he did. Okay. It's out of the way, at least. Uh, five gens still up. Not for very long, though. Uh, three people injured, which is good, however. Yes, if we done someone close to this area, search will be really useful. Where are they going, though? I wonder. Uh, they're, doing, they're doing the smart thing by keeping... Uh, by running ahead. 
I'm gonna try to catch him off guard a bit. I hear. Yeah, they finished that. Surge did go off though. We hit a gen. We're just not sure which one. I'm gonna guess the one behind me. Uh, where's the one behind me? Whichever gen we hit, apparently they haven't touched since because it seems to be blocked. Let's go back to this one. Oh no, dude. Oh, this is super good. He didn't come in. All right, we did that a bit in a, a bit in panic, but that's good. Second stack of the Lower Hope, by the way. Uh, I'll let him finish that one, but I want to I want to bother these guys now. I think yeah, no more hit. Screw it. We're going for Meg. Should be dead on hook after this, and we'll have our third stack. Yeah, I think Adam uses Med Kit to patch himself up. Did he? Oh, does she have that hard to make this ball supply? Nope. Search hit yet another generator. This is a perfect map for search, unlike the one we just played before. And she disconnected. That sucks, because we don't get out of the power hole. Shame, dude. Big shame. This is the gem we hit with search, I'm afraid. Let's go and check the other one then. Ouch. We don't get to the timbers from picking her up either. What? We'll catch them. We'll catch them here. They're using Iron Will really well, I think. Yeah, good job, dude. Okay. Search is off cooldown in like three seconds. Now, that hard? We should hit that Zen over there. That's super convenient, by the way. Because I'm gonna block it now. No one will be able to touch it to undo the search real quick. And I can confirm it visually. And now I can hook him, look around, and see what's the other gen that needs my attention. Uh, some people think that pop and search don't well, go well together. I think this is why they do go well together. You have the gen that's closed that no one's gonna touch, so you're blocking with thrilling. And the other gen that's far away, that's where you put your pop. And you don't have to worry about the first one because it's searched. And it will eventually, you know, begin to regress when search goes off. Uh, if you didn't have search, you would get four, the equivalent of four seconds. Of, su of survivor work, which is pretty nice, don't tell me wrong. Uh, surge does have that downside, but being able to protect that surge um, and making sure that no one can do it quickly, I think it's worth the four seconds you lose. They remember that you earn eight seconds worth of progress. Nice. Uh, when surge does hit the generator, because it's, it's eight, what was it? Yeah, it's 8%. So that's a little bit less than that, actually. Alright, this thing that I did right here, which is to... Uh, hit two people injured and then chase someone healthy. Generally a bad idea. Generally a bad idea. If you have recovery add-ons, maybe a better idea, because you can use your power. Like, I would have my power back, like, almost now. We were just extremely lucky to find... Oh, nice. To find the other guys. And, well, the power hole. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put him there and then hook this guy. There, uh, this is a hopeless match for them, however, with one person gone. If you want to make sure no one, someone doesn't use Unbreakable on you, or something like that, you can always use your power in a pinch like this to come and pick them up. Do be careful, though, if they get picked up in front of you, you have a four second cooldown though. So really good survivors, if I if you do something like that, they might go pick them up and know that they can get away with it. Last person healed, which is really baffling. Because we have the Vower Hope. This is a really good map for totems, by the way. They're really hard to find sometimes in this map. Yeah, I don't know if healing was the right play there for them. This gen is still aggressing. They went for Felix. You think they would go straight ahead for Adam now? I don't think they would. These people are crazy, dude. Okay. Last person was right there. We're not gonna sweat it too much and slug for the 4k. I think it's gonna happen organically, rather. Okay. Didn't we have a hook here? Okay, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, they can't go for that rescue. 
It will be another Hajj standoff. That's so. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's not use their power because I actually want to follow the blood and the scratch marks. I think we can cut them off. Oh, yeah. Lucky. Oh! We had a Kobe! Yeah, that guy doesn't have deliverance. He actually just escaped the hook by himself. Ah. Just as I thought I was about to wrap this up. Uh, you do not get stacks for Devour Hope from Deliverance, by the way. Really tough stuff. Um, it will happen every now and then. Uh, deliverance or, you know, lucky Kobe uh, of the hook won't give you stacks. So that's a, a dead giveaway that that person escaped by themselves if you weren't sure about it. Anyway, they skipped over here. What do you think they want? And do you think they'll beat us to the hatch? Let's find out. If they went that direction, well, well played. Oh. Okay, I figured. This man would need to have the most humongous brain imaginable to walk past that and and get inside that exit gate part. Nah, they wouldn't do it. They would have just escaped. I'm, I'll assume that they were closer to this exit gate, though. I'm not sure we can really beat them, though. Especially if I don't see scratch marks here or anything. Yeah. Um, these exit gates are too bad for me, I think. I would use my power, but I don't, I'm not even sure it's worth it. Let's try to catch them. We do instant on them, though, if we catch them, which is nice. Okay. Let's go back. We move at 130. It's not even that fast, really. <laughs> Considering that you have a four-second slowdown at the end. I do that just to get that extra inch. And... Damn it, we caught him. Nice, lucky. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a wait a whoa. Where? Wait what? You don't think he somehow got away and made it to the other there's no way, right? There's no way. He is there somewhere. And he's back to that exit gate. There's no chance. I might have been outplayed really badly. Yeah, he was here. I don't know where you are, dude. That was good effort. Ah, you might as well get it. <laughs> uh, good job, dude. I got spooked for a second. Yeah, don't worry, dude. You got it. You earned it. Hold on. GG. Nicely done. Alright. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea and some insight as to how Legion can actually be consistent enough to win 50 times in a row with. Actually, 52 times in a row. The way you can lose with this build is obvious. Your Devour Hope gets found immediately, so you don't have that. Survivors spread out a lot and you cannot get multiple hits. Or you make some kind of mistake where you hit them multiple, the, the same survivor twice or they dead hard. Or you make some kind of... Um, mess up at the start where they get to be healthy for a long time and once you get them all injured it takes too long and then they start suddenly dropping every pallet playing super safe you go for one guy and he drops pallets you go for another guy he goes to a very strong part of the map unfortunately legion's weakness is survivors just playing kind of perfectly and having no weak links in the chain that's that's the mass that's the match i lost at number at, at game number 53 that I was like damn it we could have done better uh, that being said even that match which unfortunately I've lost uh, in my bots even that match I could have probably won had I played a little bit better so yeah if you play Legion with a build like this with enough time uh, I don't feel like you'll you'll be in many games where you just feel like oh my god you couldn't possibly win he does have a very very good chance don't forget about all of his strengths and I think you'll have fun playing him I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, spoilers. I am very close to getting 50 wins in a row with Plague next. We are 8 wins away. Please, God, just let that happen. And that might be the next video you guys see in this series. See you then. Hopefully.